Spurs 2, United 0. We were shit. This is my match review. Can't wait for this one. First things first, you've got to talk about that early goal. Man United conceding the third fastest goal in Premier League history and it was awful. Spurs knocked it long, knocked down, crossed to Eriksen, goal. So many mistakes. Jose Mourinho went into it in detail after how Manchester United have researched and knew that Spurs were going to kick it long, that Harry Kane was going to chase it, but still we didn't do anything about it and that early goal killed the game. Just like Chelsea away, we got pumped 4-0 that day. We only lost 2-0, I suppose that's progress. But Man United conceding that early goal away from home against a team that likes to press with intensity, that killed the game for us because it allowed Spurs to press higher up the pitch comfortably. More comfortable because they got that 1-0 cushion. It allowed them to squeeze the space more and United couldn't do anything about it. It was that early goal that changed everything. But two players who really, really didn't help this, and I'm not singling them out, but I'm... I'm singling them out. Jones and Smalling in this game really exposed why they can't be Manchester United's centre-back partnership if Man United are going to be competing at the elite level. Jones and Smalling simply are incapable of playing the ball out from the back. And when you're playing this style of football that United are, you need to be able to play out from the back. Smalling in that first half, absolutely atrocious performance. Jones, unlucky with that own goal. Well, he shouldn't have really done it, but unlucky. Jones in the first half was much better than Smalling, but that's not really saying much. I mean, Smalling was making Jones look like Franz fucking Beckenbauer. That's how bad Smalling was. But United need two ball-playing centre-backs. You know, we've got Bay and Rojo, and were they both fit, I imagine both of them would have started this game. But Mourinho surely can see how that's a huge weak point for United. When De Gea plays it out from the back, you need your two centre-backs to be able to bring it forward, at least go forward instead of passing it sideways to Young or Valencia, ultimately passing it back to your keeper, to knock it long to Lukaku, who's the furthest man forward anyway. So even if he wins the header, it's not going to do anything. But Jones and Smalling, I'm sorry, but if United really want to compete at the top, top level, they can't start as United centre-backs. Now, a lot of critics will be saying that the reason United lost was because we played a two-man midfield that got overran by Spurs. And I would disagree with that, because... This 4-2-3-1 formation was aggressive from Jose Mourinho. We started Sanchez, we started Lingard, we started Lukaku, we started Martial. He could have taken Martial out of that team and played Herrera. And he would have got lambasted for playing too defensive, too pragmatic. But the reason that two-man midfield didn't work is because we conceded early. As I said, conceding that early goal changed everything for United. Because of that goal, the two-man midfield got squeezed far tighter than it would have had we not conceded that goal, would have been a little bit more space. I'm very surprised that we didn't play more balls over the top, though. Pogba had a poor game. I'm no surprise that he got taken off. And it goes to show that Mourinho, nobody is exempt, even Paul Pogba, from criticism and from a substitution. Um, but United, when we beat Spurs at Old Trafford this season, Spurs played with a high line, we played balls in behind. That's where we were getting space. And when you've got the pace of Lukaku, Sanchez, Martial and Lingard going forward, you want to be playing more accurate balls over the top. But we didn't. And because of that, Spurs very, very comfortable in defence. It allowed them to press higher. Everything played into Spurs' hands last night. And a lot of that was United's own doing. And something else that was absolutely terrible last night was the away end. Wembley is... A, I don't like Wembley anyway, at the best of times, let alone when you go 1-0 down after 11 seconds. But the away end was shit. No noise just shit and that really didn't help and it probably didn't help the players either because a bouncing away end can give you a boost as a player I'm sure you know I'm guessing here but I'm sure it does but just the whole performance that whole 90 minutes was terrible we can all admit that we're still in second place City are still flying high City have won the league we all know that we're fighting for second place which is not where we thought we were going to be this year but City are doing something on a completely different level but what we saw last night, for me, proof that we can't have Jones and Smalling as our two centre-backs if we're going to be competing against City. We need ball-playing centre-backs. We need buy back as soon as possible and get Rojo back in that team ASAP. Paul Pogba, poor game, doesn't matter. He'll be back straight away. 
Nothing wrong with a two-man midfield. Stick to the 4-2-3-1. I thought Mourinho's formation going into the game was spot on. Maybe I would have played Shaw instead of Young. I think Young had a poor game. All the balls over the top of him were catching him out. But what's your thoughts on the game last night? 2-0 to Spurs. One of the worst performances we've had this season. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this new style of match review, let me know in the comments as well. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV, please. Spurs 2-0. Shit.